Hey guys, Bruno here, Moustache Flyer. You already know that we're having a heck of a National Stall Series 2024 season. Jennings, Sun and Fun, Heritage Stall, we got all that knocked out and where are we at, what are we doing? We've got some amazing sponsors that have come aboard. Uh, I gotta tell you about this one, J360 Motorsports, Dell and Chrissy have been some of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life. And that is where all of this is coming from. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. And uh, they, they came to me and said, hey, we'd like to take you on for a full sponsor. What do you think? And uh, you know, we started talking, kind of, kind of floating things back and forth. Next thing I know, there's Yamaha motor that's in the hangar along with the Xena 750 that I took down there earlier this year. And it's like, hey, let's put this thing on it and see what happens. What does that mean for me and the rest of the series for 2024? Well, we're gonna go through this nut to butt. Hopefully you stick around. If it's your first time here, let me say thank you for coming by. Um, we're gonna try to do the best we can with this. And if you're into short videos, That'll be Instagram, Facebook, and the YouTube shorts. I'll put the links down below. This is gonna be more of the long form videos, kind of between five and 10, maybe 15 minutes. But the other ones will be below three minutes. So you can get everything that's going on uh, very quick, very digestible. And so if that's what you want, I would look forward to having you there. Put your questions and comments down below about all the stuff that we're going on. And hey, let's get into it. What do we got going? We got a Xena 750 with an Apex four cylinder out front, 165 horsepower. Don't know what prop we're gonna use yet. We got Brian Dukas's wiring kit along with his display unit. We've got uh, Teal Skytrax box, um, which, you know, I've never done any of this. So we're trying to figure it out as we go. Um, I believe that Denny welded this up. So we've got his exhaust and uh, header there. So we're just gonna kind of get into it. These are all our parts. I need to lay them out, make sure we have everything. So why not show you guys what's going on? What do we got? We got us, it looks like a EFI wiring kit along with all the sensor connectors. So that's one piece. We've got the coolant plugs. We've got everything here. We got some instructions on what to do, it looks like. And Brian Dukas, man, I talked to him for a little bit on the phone and he was like, hey, once you get there, let me know what's up. And, uh, you know, we'll kind of kind of go through it. We got some ECM plugs and mounts there, it looks like. And uh, he was like, hey, just get it all out. Let me know if it's all there. If you're missing anything, let me know. We got a IAT inlet air temperature sensor. So that'll be good. That'll help control the ECM and what we've got going on. Uh, we've got our wideband sensors, so that'll be reading O2 and a bunch of other things. Basically just O2, right? Exhaust. We've got our EGT CAN module sensor, bungs, and connectors. So there's a bung on the already built in uh, over there on the muffler. We'll put that in. So that's pretty cool. We've got the dash here, which is going to be cool. The EMS. We've got our bracket that's going to go there and then check this thing out. It, uh, it's got a wiring piece in it. And then whoop, here is the AEM screen. We're going to put on the dash in there. I'll go and show you where we're going to put it. I got some things in mind. We've got a wiring harness in here. It looks like along with some instructions. So we're going to put all of this back in here nicely. Get it out of the way. Oh man, there's so much stuff in this box. He puts so much stuff in here. We got our fuel pressure sensors. We got our oil temperature. Looks like we've got mostly everything we need. Uh, we've got our gearbox temperature. That'll go right there. We have got our ignition module. Big key there. We got our fuel filter and regulator here. Look at that. It's almost the exact same thing I've got in mind, it looks like. Kind of funny. Same thing I used to use on a Jeep right there, it looks like, uh, or an LS. Oh, actually it says right here, LS swap filter regulator. So that's exactly what it was. We did uh, these on a Jeep Cherokee, my buddy Alex. Um, we've got a fluid pressure sensor, which I believe this is for the oil tank. Yep, oil pressure sensor. So there we go. And then we've got our programmable ECU right here. Uh, Brian told me I need to send this back to him and let him update it. So we're going to probably work on doing that too. But uh, this is the Infinity BD engine. You know, it's got a serial number so he can look it up. It's a Series 3. Everything is uh, pretty much ready there. Already there and ready to go. So I'm looking forward to this. That's pretty much all our parts. So what we wanted to do today was uh, just kind of make a shorter video. And then we'll kind of do a walk around on the plane as well. So we'll get all these in here. 
and uh, kind of go from there. You know, Brian, if you're watching this, I appreciate you so much uh, for letting me know what I needed to have and what I needed to look for to make sure I had everything. And so we're just putting everything in here, getting it out of the way, wiring harness, everything like that. Good. Now, what else we got? We got uh, Teal's Skytrax box here, along with a seal. And then we're actually gonna have to build this guy. So here's the back of it. We've got our gears right here. It's one, two, which I already zip tied that guy, the bearings too, to make sure that it stays good. One goes in each one, so we're gonna have to open this up. We've got some spacers. Got some seals, bolts, and everything like that, along with some instructions. And so we've pretty much got everything. We've got a radiator over there, which I didn't didn't get out. And then we've got this beautiful header and a muffler system that was welded up, which I'm so much looking forward to uh, installing. All right, so we've got our header system here. There's no muffler on it, so I was wrong on that. I believe there's a muffler somewhere around here, but I gotta look. Uh, this header stack has got our bungs already welded in, which is super nice. So we've got our downstream for the wideband and then our EGT sensors up top, our exhaust gas temperature EGT, yep. This thing is beefy. I think Dennis did this. I'm not completely sure who did this, but I, I believe I heard that Dennis did this so I appreciate him for doing that all right so what do we got going on from here the next video will be us getting the airplane ready to go and getting everything pretty much squared up you'll see the wings getting put on the engine getting mounted and the uh, issue that we're kind of having with the engine mount so I'm Bruno this is a super awesome project I'm so thankful for your viewership and the people that are stopping by to see this I can't wait to show you more so here we go top secret project Yamaha 165, 160 horsepower motor on a Xena 750. Wild. I'm Bruno. Follow your passions, dreams, and aviation. Catch you guys on the next one. Later.